A new bill in Albany aims to cut red tape for parents seeking early developmental care for young children. Now, that legislation has passed, but as CBS 2's Nick Calloway reports, it's still sitting on Governor Cuomo's desk unsigned. That's when two-year-old Madison was about 11 months old, she still wasn't crawling. When she started like showing delays, we you know immediately sought out early intervention. Now Madison does physical therapy at Los Niños Services in Hawthorne to work on her gross motor skills. She's lucky; many kids end up on long wait lists. She's made so much progress, and it's been so amazing for her development. That's the dog. Three-year-old Kai came here two years ago for physical, occupational, and speech therapy. He's a completely different child from now when he started. That early intervention aims to catch kids up at a young age. But many services like this are buried in red tape, fighting with insurance companies about what's covered and what's not, forcing some out of the profession altogether. Many of our uh, uh, colleagues that had a small businesses, they had been forced to close. Lawmakers and advocates gathered Thursday in White Plains, asking Governor Cuomo to sign a recently passed bill that would essentially tax health insurance providers $40 million a year to cover more early intervention claims and shift costs from counties and municipalities onto insurance companies. State Assembly member Amy Poland sponsored the bill. The providers will stay in business. It'll eliminate the wait list for children. And most importantly, young children will get the services they need in a timely way. But the bill is still sitting on Governor Cuomo's desk. We reached out to the governor's office to find out if he plans to sign. So far, no word back. The New York Health Plan Association, which represents health insurance providers, opposes that legislation, saying it will increase premiums. The group has asked Governor Cuomo to veto. In White Plains, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. The bill's sponsor said the average cost to consumers could be as low as $1 or $2 a year.